so if you haven't guessed it i am in santa fe a city that is about 412 years old and i'm in front of the oldest church in the usa i arrived here yesterday um it was a very long travel day so we just went out to eat lunch i had my first enchiladas ever and they were phenomenal later that day we walked around and went to dinner and then just enjoyed a movie in bed this city is gorgeous and you can feel the age i kind of i'm surprised i haven't walked around and like felt the stone yet i'm walking you to the oldest house in the usa as well it's very interesting i need to check when they became a state because it's interesting that they have the oldest church the oldest home but they're not the oldest state here is the oldest house in the USA. And the sign says 1646. Oh, you can see like the hay in the stone. One thing that you will see all around town during the fall are something called ristras or ristras. And they are a string of peppers set out to dry. They're hung all over the town, outside of homes and the town square. Now, mostly people dry them for cooking reasons to later use, but they're also hung for good luck and good health. They also happen to be just a very beautiful pop of color and decor. I got the green chili bagel and some green chili cream cheese. Oh, it's chili and cheese bagel. Mmm. Tastes like an Asiago bagel. Mmm. Good. So. We are staying at La Fonda Hotel, which feels like it's right in the heart of downtown. I think I'm gonna have to force myself to leave downtown one of these days because it just has everything I need. This map that you saw me looking at yesterday has so many cool things around town. Now, I was just browsing thinking one or two things might pop out at me, but there were countless restaurants, activities, areas that really stood out to me and I don't have much time to try and do them every day. So I'm thinking because it's a little after two, I'm gonna head to the Rail Yard and Rail Yard Arch District. It seems super cool and they also have a farmer's market. I'm feeling a little peckish and I'm trying to hold off so I can go get something a little tastier in an hour or two, but let's see what they got over there. So we rented a car because we flew into Albuquerque and drove the hour long drive to Santa Fe, but if you're just gonna hang out downtown, it's really not worth it. There is so much to see and do just walking around downtown. Endless art galleries, little stalls for you to buy blankets and trinkets, anything you can absolutely imagine. And there's plenty of food, drinks, museums, literally everything is right down here. I didn't record myself while I was in there, but I do wanna shout out a little bookstore. It's called The Good Stuff. They have records, books, new and used, and it's a little cafe. Now, while I'm sure they have bigger bookstores, I do love patronizing little local shops like that. I also don't know if I mentioned, but the elevation of Santa Fe is 7,000 feet. That might be the highest I've ever been, so it's very easy to overexert yourself here. Even this walk, it's about 20 minutes to the Rail Yard Arts District, is pretty scenic. Because I'm here for so long, I have no real plan. Each day is completely up in the air and there are a few things that I feel like, oh, I'd really like to do that. But if I don't get to it, I don't get to it. I thought this was going to be more of a deserted place, but I believe the actual train runs through here. We got cafes, eateries, a brewery, which there are several throughout town, and a bunch of art galleries.
there may be multiple markets, but at least this market on the left side, directly across from the farmer's market, is open Saturdays and Sundays from 9 to 4 on Saturdays, 10 to 4 on Sundays. Oh, this view. This town reminds me of every other small town I've been to, almost, from Jackson Hole, Wyoming to Whitefish, Montana. Also, while the temperature is pretty low, the sun will come out and really heat the place up. So the sweater and the jacket is unnecessary. Maybe I could wear a regular shirt and a bigger jacket, but it gets pretty warm. Someone out there may love to hear that Santa Fe is kind of reminding me of somewhere like Morocco, where they have tons of stores with rugs, with pillow covers, with coasters, lamps, any type of decor you may need, there's a store here for it. And don't get me started on clothes and shoes and throwing knives and daggers, everything. They have everything and it's all unique to the area. We are currently at Il Vicino wood oven pizza. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes. Spinach salad. Today is a museum day. There are two right here in downtown Santa Fe that are like 500 feet from this hotel and then there are two on museum hill which isn't too far especially if you're driving but i'm gonna try and walk i've mapped them all out and i think i'm gonna do the 40 minute or so walk first i am wearing this anine bing sweatshirt because it's like 50 something degrees it's currently 52 degrees that's a no-no this will keep me really warm my jacket will keep me warm, but I think I'm going to overheat a little bit, especially since I'll be walking. So I'm just going to take the lining out of this jacket and then I should be good to go. All right, I'm all bundled up. I think I'm going to stop past a cafe or Starbucks is right down the street and get a breakfast sandwich to eat along the way. I don't want to end up at the museum starving. They were all out of every breakfast sandwich, so I got egg bites. I've just arrived at Museum Hill. Don't recommend the walk because for more, a little more than half of the walk, I was walking down the road. The sidewalk just stopped. Okay, before I go to this next museum, I just gotta tell you guys, that last exhibit that I showed is like Japanese ghost stories and legends. And they have like a little haunted house situation. I did not go in there. It was like any other museum where you can like walk into a little room or a little area and watch a video. And so the woman on the screen was telling a ghost story, but then I saw this door that was like, if the green light is on, you can slide the door open and go in. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I would have gone if there was someone else with me, but I have no clue what's gonna happen in there. Okay, so next stop is the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture. That was the Museum of International Folk Art. So like it says, um, folk art from all around the world, Germany, Sweden, France, Africa, everywhere.
It is so windy and it's time for me to start my trek back to town. Um, unfortunately, each museum had exhibits that I was looking forward to seeing, but they were closed. So I feel like it wasn't as much as I would have liked to see. Good news compared to last night where I just tossed and turned the entire night. I actually slept a little bit last night. It also started snowing last night. And so it's been snowing on and off throughout the morning. It may be done for good right now. No flurries coming down anymore. Oh wait, no, I lied. There are definitely light flurries falling, but I think it's letting up. So the plan was for me to hit up a few more museums today, just two more that are right in the heart of downtown and I can just walk literally a couple minutes. They may even be two blocks over, if even that, which is much better than yesterday's situation. I think I'm still gonna do that. I also wanted to get in a hike today, but with the snow and it's dropped like 25 plus degrees. That's a no for me. Maybe I'll try to go tomorrow. For now, I'm gonna go grab something to eat, maybe a hot tea since I'm all out in the room and we'll see where the day takes us. Mexico History Museum. Museum Hill thinking that it's Museum Hill like it sounds like the better museums are gonna be there they were not or I, I didn't go to all of them there are several I only went to two this New Mexico History Museum amazing beautifully preserved artifacts clothing gorgeous I highly recommend stopping by Attached to the New Mexico History Museum is the Governor's Palace. I just did a walkthrough, but I didn't record anything. And in front of that is a little artisan area for Native American artisans. I'm not going to go down there, but everybody has their goods laid out. Now on to the art museum. New Mexico Museum of Art, another success. I'm kind of glad that I saved these for today because I leave tomorrow. So it's kind of like saving the best for last. It's only 11 something right now. So I'm gonna go back and chill for a bit and then the mountain looks gorgeous. I'm gonna go back and chill for a bit and then come back out to hopefully do something more exciting. And then at the end of the day, I have another exciting activity. Mm -hmm. 